Hey everybody, it's Trucker Conroy doing that flying for the third time now. Welcome back to more Super Mario Galaxy 2. Last time, we booted Bowser out again, hopefully for good this time. I mean, this whole game is him trying the same plan twice, so what was the third time going to hurt anything? This time, I'm gonna make the logo blue and then green and then blue again and then green again. By just pressing one button, you can make it do that and it's awfully pretty. You put them together and you make white. We're gonna go back in to Luigi. The best way to Daisy is through her Luigi. Okay, no. You've really done it. Oh, I know I have. Those comments are gonna be real gems. The pr prankster comments are swarming all over the universe. See for yourself. Uh, you gonna show me? Y y y you're not gonna show me? Uh, uh, okay. Uh, I, I thought that made a lot of sense. Ooh, Luigi got a letter from Princess Peach. Is this still addressed to Mario? <laughs> Luigi, you got a letter from Princess Peach. Dear Mario. <laughs> so in character for him. As I said before, we aren't even halfway. After all, it wouldn't be Mario Galaxy if they didn't make you play it twice. <laughs> hey, yo, did you see that? Those prankster comets were green. That means there are green stars around now. Those must be the cosmic jewels I keep hearing about. Those green stars are pretty hard to find, so keep your eyes and ears peeled. Take it away, cap em. We're starting all over again in Sky Station Galaxy with three new missions to do. For every gold star, there is one green star. Oh God, those borders, it's every design student's worst nightmare. Ah! I hate that design choice. The screen doesn't even turn black during transitions. It turns green, it's so uh, it's so hideous. Ah, uh, sorry, and uh, I guess I can complain again about the Gusty Garden Galaxy remix being lost from uh, this version of the song. I guess they thought nine renditions of Gusty Garden Galaxy was overdoing things, so they cut it to eight. There's our first star. I recommend doing these as Luigi. As he does have faster movement speed, we can switch to him at will, and you're just gonna get through these missions a lot quicker. Huh, I have Arceus Star Bits. They're hidden in various locations through levels. The only clues that are given are just simply the number. Green Star 2 will always be in a later location than Green Star 1. In fact, if the camera had just moved up a little bit more, we could have actually seen it in the opening video. Sometimes there's hints in opening videos, and that's especially true for here, because it's kind of a scavenger hunt. As we go back in, uh, yeah, the gigantic Bowser monster stole them. We know, we know, we know. Uh, they're in spots that teach you about interesting things. So we had to kind of backflip and wall jump in order to get that one. That teaches you that you can skip ahead right here, making the first mission over a lot quickly. I've gone over a lot of these tricks, but I find it cool that they're in places that teach you about little details and levels you might not have noticed the first time through, or indeed, teach you tactics that are used in speedrunning. I like that. It makes it a lot more interesting than just having to play through the game again as Luigi. Even though we are playing through the game again as Luigi, you understand what I mean. This next one, uh, can I do that cool trick again? I really want to do that. Uh, whoop. Hold it off. And back here, you can only see the shimmering there. Use the camera to look for things out of view with the camera angle. I'm gonna get so sick of hearing that sound and you have to suffer through it with me. It's even more frequent for you because of the power of editing. Who knew that editing could actually make lives, one's life less convenient for the viewer? So I'm skipping the movie here. Um, movies are skippable after I think you viewed one of them, but not after you viewed two of them. Uh, oh right, I can't go this way this time. Uh, all right, so something that I wanna talk about with Sky Station Galaxy, those berries on top of Yoshi's house you might have noticed that Yoshi can never visit his own house, so there's not any way to see what would happen if Yoshi would eat those berries. I asked hackers, and they actually told me that they weren't able to like prove or disprove that those berries are interactable, or if anything special happens if Yoshi were to eat them. Perhaps you can be the one to discover such a thing if you're a hacker, because I honestly don't know the answer to that question. Now personally, when I played through this for the first time, I was so confused 
because of the way that Galaxy was, where you had to play through the entire game again just as Luigi and it was all the same missions, I thought that's what it was, you know, because Luigi is green, green stars. So I went all through this level, went to the, all the way to the end of it, kicked Sassafras' ass as Luigi, and was immensely confused that the star didn't count. I went through and I beat it again just to be extra sure that I clicked on the right thing on the mission select. And then only the third time through did I accidentally stumble upon the first green star in the first area. It was a very me experience to have, and I was not very amused when I realized the fact that it didn't explain what they were. I know that Lubba said that, well, actually, yeah, Lubba did say that you have to keep your eyes peeled for them, so never mind. I guess it kind of was all my fault that I didn't um, find them. Um, well, that's awkward. Even more awkward than the story that I was trying to tell in the first place. I'll go and long jump over this way, and okay, well, I see it. I, oh, no, 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 no getting crushed, no getting crushed. Let's wait. Wow, it's almost like patience can help sometimes. And so can head trauma, apparently. There's green star number three. So for those of you wanting a more dramatic story in Super Mario Galaxy 2, oh, have I got a plot twist for you. They weren't platinum crowns the whole time! They were silver crowns, and it was a pretty airtight lie, wasn't it? They all turned to gold crowns now that those are available. You know, platinum is often seen as better than gold and is seen as the ultimate status, so I thought it would make a lot of sense and would kind of mask the fact that there was a big, big boast game to this. Green Star number one in Yoshi Star Galaxy. So I was pretty sure that I was gonna speed these up, but honestly, these missions are over very quickly anyway, and I still have a lot of things that I want to talk about, so I think maybe we'll play it by ear. There's also just a lot of things in general that I still want to do. We might do some of these at full speed. I might just speed through some of them, though. But either way, you can see that the green star is right up ahead, and it's not going to be hard for us to get. Uh, Magic Cube. I said it won't be hard for us to get. There, now you know your place. You're easy. Just the way I like them. I also like my eggs over easy. Thank you. We go over this way. I'm wanting to say that with a well-placed jump, this can be gotten without Yoshi. I thought I would just grab Yoshi for this. Uh, oh, nope. But come on, Yoshi, flutter jump, please. Uh, why wouldn't you flutter jump when I wanted you to? What are you? Are you feeling a little flutter shy? <laughs> I've never been so happy to see you. All right, to get these things, you gotta go into first person mode as they're about to get you. Thank you for telling me that. As you can hear, they're making up pretty strong and uh, well, uh, it got Luigi very excited. when you go into first person mode that they clearly didn't want you doing. Uh, there we go. Uh, Yoshi, go enjoy your new girlfriend. I uh, got her warmed up from the inside for you. Oh my god, it's running in terror after that. <laughs> it was creeped out by Luigi getting turned on by it. <laughs> Sorry, I had, I had no idea Yoshi's love life was so steamy. <sighs> I'm all out of tricks. I wish I could fly with chubby cheeks while making out. So we'll just have to settle for, oh, did I get, I got the chubby cheeks, yes! For a second I didn't think I was going to. Get the star bits before they fall back down into the volcano. Let's take a while to fly in. Now with this very 2D-ish section. Oh no, no, oh, not quite there yet. I was gonna say, pay attention to those fly-ins. Sometimes they'll have little hints. All the way up here, right over by Mr. Krabs' first dime. Use these, and they now have a much more apparent jerkishness to them than they did in our first visit. Whoop! Try it again. Okay. Flutter up and backflip! Collect it with my toe! Oi, let's have a spin dig! In this next one, I guess dust is often associated with Australia, and that was my connection there. 
I think I could also picture an Australian man saying shindig and it sounding really nice. I don't know, man. Australian people swearing is music to my ears. That's not creepy. Uh, this is the first actually difficult green star that I think could take a few tries to grab, could take a few tries to the level to even find. We're surrounded by rocks on all sides, so uh, let's talk about our rock, specifically Starship Mario. Earlier in development, it had a very different design that looked a lot more accurate to Mario's actual design, and I didn't get anything that screamed Hub World from it. Ah, how'd you get up here? Uh, oh, that's right. Yeah, you were the one who was scared of me because I was bouncing on your head. Ah, I remember that. Good times. Uh, yeah, it looked a lot closer to Mario's actual design, and I kind of thought it was part of a level, and I was like, oh, that's cool. They're going to make a level based around Mario's face. No, nope, it's the Hub World. There's our first green star. You can see that you gotta backflip onto that with no cue other than the audio because the camera's fixed and then backflip on top of it. I guess you get a drop shadow, but that's it. And speaking of beta elements, because it's on topic with rocks because ore is mined from them, Comet Metals looked very simple in the beta. Very small thing that I never had much of a chance to talk about before now. And what do you know? There was a Comet Metal made out of water right there, so it's really applicable. See, I'm not just pulling random topics out of my ass to fill time. What would ever give you that idea? Uh, and speaking of not doing that, all this talk about rocks got me to thinking about something. Um, I can't be the only one who thought up until recently that the show 30 Rock was a sequel series to the comedy Third Rock from the Sun. I always thought that, but it's apparently not the case, and because of course it is, Proton John was the one who taught me it wasn't. There's the next green star. Got up here, uh, don't remember if I did that in the first place, but if you can triple jump up here, I wanted to show that the reward is eight whole star bits. From the starting planet, we extend an olive branch out to the life forms on this planet. Planet? Uh, I'm going with planet. We got a 2D section. And we can drill his brains out. There's that up there, and, uh, forced damage. You have to take forced damage to get what you want. I gotta hand it to you, Green Stars. You really do turn people into good speedrunners. Flip Swap is next. And since this was just a two-star galaxy, you can now see that every mission has a corresponding green star, meaning that logically there are 120 green stars. There's not three to find in every level, which is good because some of these smaller ones, I could see it being really pushing it to try to stuff three into the three of them in. With this being a more open, kind of short, gimmicky level, I just kind of thought we would go through it and see if I can find them. I know where most of them are and kind of refresh myself on that ahead of time, but I tried not to do that for quite all the levels, this being an example, one that I wouldn't do that for. Uh, boy, when I said I didn't refresh myself on this level, I wasn't kidding. Oh God, Bowser, no, not you too. You've become so gaudy in your old age. Oh, his skin color is actually green, so that's, uh, is that like offensively racist to Koopas or something? Oh God, uh, I'm not falling for that same trick again. Goombas, uh, you will not avenge the honor of your fallen master. Got to spin to collect it, which is risky business, but we got it. Did you see the green star in the ending there? Did you see it? Back where we left off, I gotta say, after being booted out of these galaxies for collecting a green star every single time already, I would say that they should do this concept again, but not kick you out of the level for collecting the green stars, but that's precisely what they did next. <laughs> It's hard, I've been spoiled by Super Mario Odyssey now and <laughs> I'm kind of seeing how annoying it is that they did this and how strange it is that Banjo-Kazooie had this figured out in 1998 and it took Mario that long to start doing it themselves. Guess you gotta pad out that playtime somehow cause gosh darn it, games just gotta eat up 30 hours of your time to be any darn good these days. I can't stand the mindset of judging games solely on hours. I, I like it when games don't waste my time and are just interesting challenges or just tell their story or you know, just have an enjoyable gameplay experience and don't do anything more than that. Is there? Oh, okay, I passed right by it. I heard the twinkling. Feels kind of weird going in reverse here. Okay, 
So we backflip and we spin again. Same same methodology as last time. Super Mario methodology sounds like a title. Right side down is next. Blazing through World One. Something tells me that my not even halfway claim is not exactly going to extend into the episode count. There's one in the opening video. You know what our goal is. I have an idea for this one. After how well I did only flipping the gravity one time on our first visit, I want to try to not flip the gravity at all and see how I do. I was kind of disappointed that I did... I was disappointed that I did very well, yes. But you understand what I mean. I was kind of disappointed that I could actually probably have handled it, and yet I didn't go for it, so let's try. Uh, do a long... No, 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 no. Look. I don't know why you felt like doing the smooth criminal there, but... Oh, oh the lever is a solid object. That makes sense. Uh, no. <laughs> that looks so awkward. It's like he fell off the bottomless pit and then he landed perfectly in the pipe and sat flush in it. <laughs> okay, new idea, new idea. I'm going to long jump off of this and land on that block. I did it. How about that? Uh, is there? Okay, thank God, thank God. Thank God there's a ceiling, floor, whatever here. <laughs> Give me that. Slide all the way down. Not get a one-up for that, for collecting all the coins for once. It wasn't even worthy of applause. And I get the feeling this is how things are supposed to be in this section, as evidenced by the Goomba. Toad, don't fall down. Ride the horsey, go to town, ride the horsey. Don't fall down! <laughs> I'm willing to bet wherever there's a checkpoint, that means that that's the way the gravity is supposed to be. <laughs> that would make a lot of sense and make it so you wouldn't have to separately program how the level is supposed to be reset after the player dies. That would be really, really smart to do. I go that way. Um... Okay, how do I solve this problem? I guess aim for that over. That's sensitive, yo. Long jump, maybe? Yes! Very controlled long jump. Had to hold back a lot. And I'm so nervous. Good thing I slid on the wall to slow my descent. Okay, you can still hurt me. You come back up. Let you just be angry in peace. Don't disturb me. I'm just a lanky Italian plumber is all. Not anybody's butt monkey, least of all yours. There's one fireball, two, three, and let's have some fried chestnuts. Take that. And we flip up. Okay, yeah, this is very doable. It's actually kind of... It, I think this makes the level more fun, not switching the gravity. It's just, it's a really interesting kind of challenge and just makes you think about things a lot differently and there's a lot of what if scenarios. Uh, for this, we got to play with the gravity switching by long jumping up off of the 2D section, or off of the 3D section back into the 2D section, playing with the fact that gravity switches on you on the fly. This weaker spin attack from the fire flower is not appreciated. Go away. Hello, Goombas. I'm here to fry you on up at the hot front where we take flavor and we spank it. <laughs> Make more characters like her, please. Make more characters like her. Not everything has to be so sterile in the Mushroom Kingdom and beyond. Make characters that are jerks. Make characters that have lots of deep personality. Just do it for me, please. No, don't, don't do it for me. Do it for yourself. Do it for the sanctity of the soul of this franchise. Okay, enough of that. Uh, I think it's around here somewhere. I'm just climbing around on the outside because I really like making this level my... 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 Bitch. Uh, no! See this? See the star bit over there? I've never seen one before. Oh my god, Luigi's headless in the... Oh my god, Luigi's headless in the silhouette theory. He was dead this entire game. The internet will latch onto that stuff for 10 plus years. 
You youngins think I'm joking, but that's really a thing that happened. Look it up. <laughs> All right. So that's a lot of World 1 down. Um... Well, okay, we can't do it all in one shot. I think we're gonna end things off there. Next time on Super Mario Galaxy 2, we make our triumphant return to Fluffy Bluff and then bleed into World 2. See you guys then.